Michael Weatherly is an iconic actor who needs no introduction. The actor is famous for his portrayal of Tony Donozo on the legendary drama NCIS and later for his work on the CBS drama Bull. There is an unspoken hidden side to the actor though. Did you know he's a musician as well as an actor? Weatherly has also been hit, unfortunately, with sexual misconduct allegations. What else is there to the actor? Stick around to learn about all the untold truth of Michael Weatherly. First up, Weatherly's early career. Michael Weatherly's career began in the 90s with a small role on the Cosby show as Theo Huxtable's roommate. We would lose his position, however, when Bill Cosby decided to remove him from production. Following his work with Cosby, Weatherly would go on to star in a few different shows including Loving as Cooper Alden and The City. Weatherly would star in the latter for four years until ultimately moving to Los Angeles to pursue his career further. He was able to find work on the show Significant Others and the young actor would appeal in a few different shows from here as well as work on some movies. In 2003, however, Weatherly finally landed his premiere role on NCIS as Special Agent Tony Donozo. Next, we'll go more in depth on Weatherly's work on one of the most watched shows, NCIS. He first appeared on the show in 2003 and would retain his role as Tony Donozo going forward. Besides NCIS, Weatherly also appeared on the Navy-themed legal drama JAG, where he retained his role as Donozo. Besides appearing on the original NCIS, Weatherly also appeared on the show's two spin-off series, NCIS New Orleans and Los Angeles, where he again retained his role. Interestingly enough, though, this makes Weatherly one of the only two actors to have appeared on all four NCIS shows. The other is Polly Perrette. Up next, work as a director. Did you know that besides solely acting, Michael Weatherly has also worked as a producer and director? Weatherly's directing career started in 2011 when he directed an episode on the eighth season of NCIS titled One Last Score. Weatherly would go on to direct episodes of NCIS in 2013 titled Seek for the 10th season. His directing work extends beyond working solely on television shows, however. He has directed a handful of movies, including the documentary Jamaica Man. Weatherly also directed the short movie Under the Sun, as well as several different shorts relating to his time and work on NCIS. Now leaving NCIS. Despite Weatherly's most famous position being his time on NCIS, it wasn't his only notable role. As NCIS wrapped up its 13th season in 2016, Donozo departed from the police team to focus on both mourning the death of his lover, as well as to focus on raising their daughter. With Donozo's departure, Weatherly finished his work on NCIS. Weatherly has said that he left the legal drama because he was ready to work on other projects. His next project will be on the CBS drama Bull, where he stars as the protagonist, Dr. Jason Bull. Bull has remained the main project that Weatherly is focusing on and has been running for six seasons now. Now, the sexual harassment. Despite his experience and prestige as one of America's most recognizable actors, not everything in Weatherly's career has been positive. Eliza Dushku, a fellow actress on the show Bull, claimed that Weatherly had sexually harassed her on set. Dushku claimed that Weatherly made several sexually suggestive comments to her during time on set. The actor was caught on tape talking about things like spanking Dushku to having a threesome with the actress. Dushku, after bringing the behavior up to show producers, was fired after Weatherly took action against her. In 2018, after being fired from the show, CBS gave Dushku a $9.5 million settlement outside of court. New work outside of television. So what else has Weatherly done over his long, illustrious career? Beyond his time in both movies and television, Weatherly has also appeared on YouTube. The actor appeared as Jesus Christ on a YouTube video alongside comedian Sarah Silverman, sponsored by a pro-choice organization. Beyond his portrayal of Christ, Weatherly has also appeared in YouTube videos to do the hashtag tap challenge. In the videos, he dances to help promote both awareness and raise funds for the Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS organization. And this leads us into our next topic, Weatherly's work as a philanthropist. Up next, Weatherly's philanthropy work. Michael Weatherly isn't just an actor and producer, but also has experience working as a philanthropist. The actor has donated funds to a variety of different organizations for all different causes. Just like his dancing videos for Equity Fights AIDS, Weatherly and his wife donate to organizations such as Try All. Try All is a charity that focuses on improving educational opportunities and public health in Jamaica. Weatherly has also worked with organizations such as Healthy Child, Healthy World, and Environmental Working Group, charities dedicated to improving public health for children and increasing environmental awareness, respectively. So far, we've covered some lesser-known aspects of Michael Weatherly. We've discussed things like his early career, including working with Bill Cosby, his directing work in movie careers, his philanthropic work, and among others. Still, though, there's plenty more to learn about Weatherly. There's still things like his music abilities and fitness journey. Keep watching to learn even more about the untold truth of Michael Weatherly. Now, Weatherly's fitness journey. Michael Weatherly gained a fair bit of weight while working on NCIS, especially during season 11. The weight gain was caused by his work environment. Unhealthy foods were readily available to the actor and he often found himself working long hours. His weight gain reached a point where writers of the show began joking about Tony Donozo going on a diet. Weatherly took this joking seriously and after tearing five pairs of pants during film, embarked on a weight loss journey. The actor would overhaul his diet and eliminate carbs while working out. Weatherly went from a hefty 240 down to about 200 pounds. Next, we'll cover lesser known tidbit about Michael Weatherly's marriage, his time with Jessica Alba. The two were both stars on the show Dark Angel.
Angel, where Weatherly played as Logan Kale and Alba portrayed Max Guevara. Throughout the show's filming, the two would become a couple before ultimately getting married in 2001. Their relationship, however, wasn't well received by the public. At the time of their engagement, Alba was incredibly young, only being 18, while Weatherly was pushing 30. The two ultimately split up because, according to Alba, she wanted to fall in love with the first person she lost her virginity to, which wasn't the case with Michael Weatherly. Up next, his musical talent. Michael Weatherly is a lot of things. Not only has he acted on a wide array of shows, but he's also directed them. Another thing that Weatherly is talented in making is music. Weatherly's work is so good, actually, that some of his songs have even been featured on NCIS episodes. Michael Weatherly is talented as both a singer and songwriter and is able to play several instruments. He plays both the piano and guitar and can also sing. Weatherly's songs Bitter and Blue and Under the Sun have both been featured on NCIS. His songs are available to listen on different streaming services and have even received dedicated music videos. Now, the relationship with other actors. The next topic we'll cover is Weatherly's relationship with those around him. Not only is he incredibly famous and well-known to the general public, but the actor has also been well-received by those he works with. To prove this, all one needs to do is look at how his co-workers rushed to his defense following the sexual harassment allegations by Eliza Dushku. Once the news of Dushku's multi-million dollar settlement became public, co-workers came to his defense. Holly Perrette tweeted that she had known and worked with Weatherly for two decades and had nothing but love and respect for him. Another one of his co-workers, Sasha Alexander, tweeted something similar. Alexander claimed that she had been in the trenches with Weatherly for a long time and the man had a loving heart. Now, misidentification from the public. A strange but common occurrence in Michael Weatherly's life is being mistaken for other actors by the general public. On more than one occasion, Weatherly has been called someone else, and one of these times actually led him to getting a free meal. An elderly woman who was 93 years old mistakenly thought that Weatherly was George Peppard from the A-Team and was misidentified as Lisa Weckl by a blind person. The most interesting incident, however, happened at Planet Hollywood. Workers at the restaurant believed that Weatherly was actually Sean Flannery and gave the actor a free meal of whatever he requested. Lastly, returning to NCIS. The last thing we'll cover about Michael Weatherly is his potential return to the flagship series NCIS. In the show, Denozo left the police team to raise his daughter and also to mourn the death of his wife. In a later season, however, it was revealed that his wife was actually still alive, which hinted at the possibility of Denozo's return. Several characters from the beginning of NCIS returned in the later seasons, but Denozo wasn't among them. Weatherly himself has said that he'd be willing to work on the show again, and with the return of his wife, it seems likely that he'll return to the show at some point. So there you have it, the untold truth about Michael Weatherly. Weatherly is certainly a complex character with both good and bad aspects to it. Thanks for watching.